Hello and welcome to my channel, Lorraine here. Welcome to my very, very messy desk. So I'm continuing um, working on the Shabby Romance journal that I've started to make. Um, and yesterday we did part of the topper for the cover. I'm not working on that today. Um, I can't decide what needs to go on it, so I'm going to wait a little while before I do that. So I'm just going to pop that over there. Pop my glue book there. Let's just have a... So I, I, yesterday I printed off some more ephemera to go inside of uh, the journal, and these things are from my porch prints. Um, so I've printed this lot off. And today I'm going to be making, there's all this from one of the kits. Um, I can't, it's something roses, it's called, I can't remember the name of it. Um, so I did that and some of um, Grandma's Attic. I've mixed them together. So there's, there's lots to go inside of my shabby. There's envelopes, envelopes. These are booklets that are going to have some notepaper in but we're not working on those today I'm just going to make a couple of pockets using this digital paper so I just move all those out of the way and we'll start working on some pockets that's not a pocket I've printed these on um, 120 cardstock some of them I've doubled uh, over some of them not, so I think we'll start working on those as pockets for now. I just want to make sure I get the size of the page before I do. So it's 14 and a half centimetres. So there we go. So we'll get the the guillotine. Sorry if I knocked you there. So 14 and a half. That's more or less 14 and a half. Um, which way do I want that? That way. So if I just line that up there, that gives me one pocket, two pockets, and I know the text is upside down, but it won't be that obvious because it'll going to be decorated. So let's take this one. Oh, that's more fourteen and a half. Let's. What good is it if I just do? There we go. It doesn't have to be precise, does it? So we'll do. The same here, these will be slightly smaller. Let's get this. So that's another two pockets. I don't know if you can hear the banging that's going on. Um, it's a dynamite. But don't need to panic about the dynamite throwing here. They throw dynamite, small dynamite, in celebration. It's Orthodox Easter. And today is Palm Sunday, so there's um, people about celebrating Palm Sunday. Um, we aren't really allowed to go to church or parade like we usually do, but people are doing so. Hey, hold on, let me just check. This video is doing okay. Yep. It's doing okay. I'm pleased with this new setup so far, apart from me wobbling the table. But, um, so I'm just going to do the edges of these pockets with um, vintage photo. I can't take to that tea stain. I think it'd be okay on really pale things, but 
to now I'm not impressed. But this is running out, so I'm going to have to get impressed with it because I can't get vintage photo for some reason. Um, I read somewhere on Facebook that people were, were struggling getting over this, so I don't know why um, that would happen. And I can't find re inkers on the sites that I'm using. The weather isn't as nice today, um, it's very overcast and very windy, we're having gale storm winds today and it's brought over the red, the red rain overnight so everything again is covered in red sand. That's after I've, well, we've spent time cleaning and doing outside thought it had finished so we did, it, did the jobs I'm going to have to do some of them again unfortunately keeps me out of mischief and also we've been struggling both of us Dave and I have been struggling with hay fever we have begun to wonder if we had a bit of a cold coming but um, it's not as hay fever because my eyes are itchy with it as well, so I don't usually get that symptom if it's just a head cold. We were saying we haven't had a cold or thankfully flu over winter, but then we haven't really been anywhere to pick up the cold bugs. We've been isolating um, for the majority of winter. Uh, Trying to stay safe. But it's been lovely not having colds and a couple of winters ago I got flu and I was really poor with the flu. Um, it was more than a bad cold because I couldn't get out of bed. So what we're going to decorate these pockets with. Mm -hmm. Let me just check I've got the measurements right. I'll just get one of the signatures out of the book out of there. Yep. There were some smaller ones, weren't there? But I can't, can't remember which were the smaller ones. No, I think they're all the same. I thought that looks small. Yeah, a bit smaller is that one. So Let's have a see at what we've got. Some small pieces of ephemera tickets and things. Um, this is my bag that I've sorted out with uh, bits that have to go on. I did some um, romance quotes. It took me absolute eternity to do those but I think it was worth the effort. Come on where are the tickets? They're too big. Too big. I could have prepared these country before I came. But then that would have meant me being organised. And as you know, that doesn't happen very often. So. There we go. We've got some of these pieces here. We've got some clusters that I made. They might be. Okay. Well, they're nice on here, aren't they? These clusters. I have a butterfly on there. I might use just the clusters which I've already made. Um, but we'll see. Mm. 
I'm sorry I'm reaching over the uh, Oh, little lace there. Um, some cheesecloth that I dyed. I used turmeric. Or did I use turmeric? I think it was turmeric that I used for that. Little pieces of lace. Some flowers. Okay. All of this that you cut off the end bit and the scraps that you're not going to be using, but I put them on there. Okay, let's have a look what we're going to do first. I can't like that on there. So, what about see, these are the wrong colours, these are reds. Does it matter? What if? What if I just go on there? No, it's not making any difference, that is it. I'm going to use it anyway. I am definitely going to use it. So I like that one on there. So that can be one of the pockets. Not a pocket, sorry. So this is um, this cluster is vintage music paper, some cheesecloth underneath this heart. This heart's a freebie from G Kerr Happiness in Crafting. Um, another generous lady, and I am going to use that, even though it's red. I am going to use it just on there. quote from Maya Angelou love liberates it doesn't bind so that's one of the pockets ready to go into one of the journal pages I like that so then what about I'm going to use this one and it's already got a name thing on so it doesn't need anything on and I'm going to make it into I'm just going to do down the sides and along the bottom edge down the sides there we go so that that where's that little type is a little pocket and I'll just put that tiny little tag in there that it just needs. Sorry, I'm wobbling you. So that's the second one done. They're lovely papers. Um, let's do a non-green one. Now I like this. This is nice on there. But I don't know if it needs something underneath there as well. I don't know if it needs maybe a ticket underneath. I'd have to go that way because that would guys on his back. Yep, I'm liking that. So we'll put these tickets on. Um, there we go, put him in there. On his bicycle, going out for his date, going courting his lady. <laughs> And we'll just put this on here. This is vintage music paper again, just a scrap of it. Um, 
with again some um, cheesecloth underneath this tiny ticket and some um, rose trim on there, embroidered trim on there. Where do we say we'll put in this? I might put that there. Or shall I put it underneath here? Mm. Underneath. It's going underneath, so there we go. Now my husband's just come downstairs and he doesn't know that I'm recording, so he may come in any minute now shouting. Making an appearance on another video. <clears throat> so there we go. Another pocket waiting to go in. So that's three done already. That's good that. And I like this. I might just put that. I think that needs something here, doesn't it? I don't know what. Ooh. No, 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 no. Not that. What about? No, I don't like that there. I don't like that. So. What else have we got? David, I'm recording. Okay. I've already warned everybody that you're probably going to come in and shout something. Okay. Okay. See you then. Oh, that's too modern for that lady, isn't it? Um. What about? Does that look right? I can't decide. Or is it just a bit random? You're not answering me, ladies. You're not answering me. Uh, what else have we got here? Let's just see if this can go. Now that's okay, we'll do that because I'll leave that open at the top and that can be a pocket. <clears throat> so you'll have to excuse me if I sound a bit nasally and I'm coughing a little. This is safe if I have taken an antihistamine so it should start easing soon. And somebody, a friend, just messaged me and said, put some Vaseline up your nose. It stops the pollen getting in. I don't know how true it is, but I've done that. I've put some Vaseline, well, it's lip salve. I didn't have any Vaseline tubs. Um, so I've put some just on the outsides to try and stop the pollen from going up my nose. That's nice, and it needs something just to show that this is a pocket. There we go, a little piece of ephemera there. So that's another one. We're done. Oh, and we're on to the last one. <clears throat> well, she is lovely. I'm not sure she needs anything else with her. What are you thinking? Hmm? I did have, where did I put that? I don't think that's going to be long enough, is it? No, it's not long enough. But it can go along there, can't it? So we can just run some along the edge here, some glue. And 
just put that little bit of leftover lace there. There's nothing left over, is there, when you're a junk journaler? Everything's... Uh... I'm really disappointed. Well, not disappointed, but thankful in some ways. My hubby used to buy breakfast cereal um, from boxes. Uh, so I used to have lots and lots of boxes from his breakfast cereal for junk journaling. And he stopped having them. He started buying porridge. But the porridge is in cellophane packets instead of boxes. I'm pleased that he's having porridge because it's a healthier choice than he was making. But then it reduces the amount of cardboard that I have. Recycled cardboard. So this cluster I've used, um, again the vintage paper. A little bit of this lace underneath this ticket image. I've die cut some book pages into hearts of various sizes and put one there and again some more of that uh, rose trim. So that's another pocket ready for the journal. So that was quick and easy wasn't it? Can't believe we've done that already. Now then, what did I say we were going to do other than that? Oh no 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 no. Look what I found. There's one left. It was hiding away. And I have no more clusters, so we're going to have to make something here. What do we have here? Oh, what about his family? He's gone off to war, so his family are here. Um, Need something underneath it, don't it? I think. Shall we just have a little piece of this? We'll just come, on, come, on, come, on, come. On. So yesterday, I chickened out. My husband went for a sea swim yesterday. Bearing in mind, we're still April. And I know we've had some nice warmer weather, but the sea will still be cold. So I asked if I'd join. He was trying to do a swim every month of the year so that he can say he's been in the sea every month of the year. Me? Nah. I like things warm. So I shall not be going in the sea till maybe May. I might go in next month. Um, I don't like what I've done with that. What about just having it? No, I don't like that. I don't like what I've done with that. Um, so, I shall not be going in. Um, till maybe the end, maybe the end of May. Uh, or June even. Then, while we've had a warm weather, it's had the chance to warm the sea up a little bit. They tell me, my husband and friends of ours that go swimming in the sea all year round, that once you're in, it's really nice. But you know what? I don't believe them. I see their faces when they're getting in. <laughs> the horror or shock. It's bunged up, even though I wiped it yesterday when I'd finished using it. I'm using this glue just to put this lace down because yesterday I tried using that and it wouldn't wouldn't stick to it. It wouldn't lay flat, wouldn't the lace. So I'm using this silicone glue. It's a really cheap one that I buy here from one of the cheap shops. Um, and it's really good. I am impressed with it. So we're going to put this lovely family here on top of this piece of lace. So yes, he went swimming, 
I didn't even go with him to the beach. I couldn't be bothered yesterday. I don't know. Um, there we go. And I'm going to put this little lace trim here. Just along the edge. And hopefully it'll adhere. This this cotton one usually does with this uh, glue. So, ugh, sticky fingers. I don't usually get the sticky fingers from that acrylic glue. It's the the other one. Um, I might use that for a dab of that for the rose. Well, we're going to put the letters. Well, we're going to put the word rather. So that's going to go there. And ugh. just do the edges of that. So there we go. So let's move these and then we can have a look at the the ones we've done. I'm pleased with those. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm going to finish the video now and I'm going to prepare some other bits um, for the journal and then come back to you. Bye.